Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix from Maine, and today I'm going to give you a day's uh, daily recap for Tuesday, October 13th. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. When you hit that subscribe button, it really helps the channel out a lot. You can also hit that like button, which also helps out the channel a lot. It lets you two know this is a channel that people like. And also, um, you can become a member where you get exclusive videos, early access videos, articles, and more. But uh, Check out their membership. When you hit the join button, you'll see a video telling you all the great perks of being a member, and then you can decide if you want to join. Uh, so we're going to do, this is going to be a fast video, because nothing really happened. This was like General Hospital, where it was like the B storylines. Chad walks in on Kate and Jake. Um, Chad apologizes to Jake, but it's not long before they start arguing. And then Chad decides that it's not Stefan isn't the only reason why he doesn't like Jake. He doesn't like Jake because he doesn't like Jake. So he storms out. Kate runs after him like, you blew it. So <laughs> Chad's like, screw him. He was offering um, Jake an opportunity to be in like the executive program, meaning he starts in the mail room and works his way up. And, and um, Jake is like, I'm the older brother and you're the spare. I'm supposed to be in charge. So uh, Brady complains to Jennifer and Jack about Kristen's possibly going to jail. Jennifer says that she and Kristen are, are good friends. And when did this happen? I guess it happened before I was watching the show because Jennifer is close to Marlena. And since uh, um, Kristen was doing all these horrible things to Marlena, we haven't really seen Kristen being friends with anyone but Lonnie. So this is news to me that Kristen and Jennifer are friends. Lonnie talks to Melinda about Kristen. She mentions about the baby she lost. They commiserate, and she finally gets Melinda to um, uh, drop the charges on Kristen, while Eli goes to Kristen for help, saying that um, Lonnie's going to go to jail if you don't do this. So he ends up um, erasing the, the recording he made, and Kristen goes, and she um, tells with Brady standing there and Lonnie standing there that she's com come to confess and Melinda, who's in tears because of, you know, what happened with Lonnie, is like, <laughs> um, what? <laughs> so she's just about to let her go, and she confesses. Eli goes to, uh, I'm sorry, Gwen wants to celebrate the day uh, that Jennifer came out to coma by suggesting that they have a wedding for Jack and Jennifer, as well as a reception and a celebration of her one year after coming out to coma they said it's going to happen in two weeks and then Gwen's like gloating like this is going to be a day you'll never forget so we finally get to know what Gwen's secret is which is most likely that Jack is her father and that Jennifer um, he went back to Jennifer and probably left her family to be poor and alone while he went to have his happy family with Jennifer uh, Jennifer mentions that Abigail bone marrow transplant I wasn't watching the show when Abigail had a bone marrow transplant, and I'm guessing that Gwen will probably be her marrow donor. That'll probably be rolled into the story. Um, he left Jennifer for a while and then he came back. They mentioned that. So I'm assuming that when he left Jennifer, he ended up with Gwen's mother, and then eventually he came back to Jennifer. Probably took some of Gwen's bone marrow in the process and then left him to be poor. Jake overhears Gwen talking to Stefano's picture and realizes she's up to something. And that was the episode. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video.